is a land that is fairer than My name is Rosemary Siemens, and thank you so much for helping me bring back the hymns. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Sunday Hymn Serenade, where I share a new hymn video every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed 
the sweetest hymn in the world, in the sweet by and by. How I love this hymn. I have sang this and played this so many times, and it is one of my absolute favorites. And I wasn't aware of the background of this hymn until recently, so I really wanted to share this with you. Sanford Fillmore Bennett was born in New York in 1836. He later moved to Elkhorn, Wisconsin, and in 1864 enrolled in Wisconsin Volunteers and served as second lieutenant. Following the war, he returned to Elkhorn and started a drugstore and began the study of medicine. He graduated from Rush Medical College in 1874. While living in Elkhorn, Bennett became close friends to Joseph Philbrick Webster, a prolific composer who is credited with more than a thousand musical works. He and Bennett started a partnership in the production of sheet music. Bennett said, Mr. Webster was of an exceedingly nervous and sensitive nature and subject to periods of depression in which he looked upon the dark side of all things in life. I had learned his peculiarities so well that on meeting him I could tell at a glance if he was melancholy and had found that I could rouse him up by giving him a new song to work on. He came into my place of business in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, walked down to the stove and turned his back on me without speaking. I was at my desk, turning to him, I said, Webster, what's the matter now? It's no matter, he replied. It will be all right by and by. The idea of the hymn came to me like a flash of sunlight. And I replied, the sweet by and by. Why would not that make a good hymn? Maybe it would, he said indifferently. Turning to my desk, I penned the words of the hymn as fast as I could write. I handed the words to Webster. As he read, his eyes kindled. And stepping to the desk, he began writing the notes. Taking his violin, he played the melody and then jotted down the notes of the chorus. It was not over 30 minutes from the time I took my pen to write the words before two friends with Webster and myself were singing the hymn. What an incredible moment where these two friends came together and in 30 minutes were inspired by God and wrote this song that has touched so many people's lives. I know it has touched my life and I have shared this song on many occasions from different concerts to funerals to celebrations of life and this song speaks of that day when we will gather with our loved ones and see them again in the sweet by and by. How beautiful that day will be when we will see the ones that we miss so much in our earthly home. But what a glorious day that will be when we can be with them for eternity. I hope this song and message were a blessing. And if they were, please do share it with a friend in hopes that they would be blessed by this as well. If you enjoy our Sunday hymn serenades and would like them sent directly to your email inbox, just click right over here and join our Sunday hymn serenade email list. And we will make sure this is sent to you every Sunday and you will not miss a week. And if you would like the backing track for this hymn, you can perform it at your church or at an event. Just click right over here and it will take you to the page where you can download the backing track for this hymn. If you would like to support our musical ministry, you can do so now by partnering with us on Patreon. Just click right over here and for a low monthly amount, we will send you our weekly Sunday Hymn Serenade MP3s as well as a Sunday Hymn Serenade CD. We appreciate all of you so much. Thank you so much for your incredible comments. We even had a couple this week. Mel, we appreciated your comments so much. He told us how him and his wife are 91 years old and how much they enjoy this channel. I love that we can share this music with you and with everyone else. It is such a blessing to hear from everyone from around the world. So keep those comments coming. They are such an inspiration to myself and to my husband, Eli, who does all the production for each and every Sunday Hymn Serenade. Tune in every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern for a new hymn video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Sunday. 
and thank you so much for helping me bring back the hymns. Bring